This time we want to talk about how you can give the location of a particular star or constellation in the sky by looking at where it appears in the in the window of the star and planet locator. Right now I have the the wheel set to September the 1st at 9 p.m. There's 9 p.m. and I've got September the 1st lined up with the 9 p.m. So here's my sky at September 1st. I have the southern horizon at the bottom the way I'm holding it. So this would correspond to my view of the sky where I'd be looking due south. Right. Now, the, uh, again, the, the very center of the opening corresponds to straight overhead. And the edge of the opening corresponds to your horizon. So let's suppose that I wanted to locate the constellation Aquila. Where would I look in my sky to see that? Here's the constellation Aquila. All right. Here's my southern horizon. Here is straight overhead. So if I think about looking up from my southern horizon, okay, then right here would be straight overhead. And to see Aquila, I would have to look about what appears to be maybe two-thirds of the way up from the horizon. Here's the horizon. Here's one-third of the way up to the center, two-thirds of the way up to the center, and then finally up to the center. Okay. So if the center of the sky is 90 degrees overhead, then Aquila would be two-thirds of that 90 degrees, what would be 60 degrees up from the southern horizon. So if I want to give the location of the constellation Aquila, I would say it would be 60 degrees up in the south. In this case, the constellation Cygnus is straight overhead. Let's find a couple more here. How about the constellation Cassiopeia? Well, to do that, I would turn the star and planet locator so that I have Cassiopeia <coughs> closest to or, or the part of the horizon that Cassiopeia is closest to at the bottom of the of the opening like this. Okay. Here is my northern horizon, here is my eastern horizon. So this is the northeast horizon. Right here is straight overhead. Again, I think here's northeast, here's straight overhead. Cassiopeia is about halfway between the horizon and straight overhead. Maybe a little bit less than halfway up to the center. So halfway up would be 45 degrees high. I would say Cassiopeia would be about 40 degrees up in the northeast. If I wanted to find the constellation Baudis with the star Arcturus, the star Arcturus is right there, I would turn the star and planet locator so the horizon closest to Arcturus is at the bottom. Then I would be thinking, here's my horizon, this is straight overhead, and Arcturus is uh, just a short distance up in what is, you see, the western sky. So it would be up, let's say, 20 degrees high, 15 degrees high in the western sky. Another thing you could do uh, is determine the time when a particular constellation is highest overhead. So let's take, for instance, go back to the constellation Cassiopeia. Okay. I'm going to turn it so that I have the south at the bottom and then turn the dial so that Cassiopeia is closest to that center point of high overhead. That would be right about there. And I could look and see at 9 p.m. on November the 16th or 7th, November 17th, Cassiopeia would be highest overhead at 9 p.m. on November 17th. 